Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanma Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanma Kim. Today's topic of discussion is a very interesting MCQ. Which of the reactants produce toluene upon aromatization? I think it's very easy for you. That's why I suggest everyone to attempt this question in the comment box. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now, which of the reactant will produce toluene upon aromatization? What are the options? This is one actually C7. By the way, all are C7 molecule, but they are isomer. This is a linear N heptane, and this is actually 2 methyl hexane. It's a 3 methyl hexane. This is so which one can do? So before going to the details, I think you should know little bit about the basics of aromatization. That is ring closer versus hydrogen removal. So here, if you look at it, it's a hexane. Means one, two, three, four, five, six. By the way, student, in this context, counting is very special. And at the end, there is CH3. I'm writing it in this way. This is also CH3. Now, if I want to make a six-member ring, then what I should do first? First, I should connect them. How? So these and these connection need to make. Now, if I make this connection, means this one, it is cyclohexane, means C6H12. By the way, what was the previous one? C6H14. So this is also alkane, but cycloalkane. So that's why I do not get confused. It has double bond equivalent one, means it is alkene. No, it's not true. Cycloalkane have double bond equivalent one, but they are alkane, saturated hydrocarbon. So this is saturated. So first step is the ring closer or cyclization. This, this step also involves removal of one molecular hydrogen, means this hydrogen and this hydrogen. The first step is done. Now look at the second step. So second step, actually three molecules of hydrogen need to be removed such that, so every carbon, if you look at two hydrogens are there. So as for example, I can say just let's remove one hydrogen. So from there, one hydrogen is removed. So what it produced? Cyclohexene. Next step, another molecule of hydrogen removed to produce cyclohexadiene. Next step, another molecule of hydrogen removed to produce this benzene. So it is actually stepwise hydrogen removal. I have shown so overall total three hydrogen plus one hydrogen. So in this reaction, total four hydrogen removal takes place. Now for this purpose, molybdenum oxide, vanadium pentoxide, chromium oxide, any one of them could be utilized as catalyst. Now the temperature. High temperature, high pressure. By the way, why high temperature? If you look at this equation, delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. By the way, we know the hydrogenation of alkene means hydrogen addition to an alkene is enthalpically favorable. Means if you take a ethylene and if you add hydrogen in presence of catalyst like nickel, palladium or platinum, these will produce ethane molecules. So hydrogen addition will take place along the pi bond and compared to pi bond, these two are sigma bonds. Sigma bonds are more stable, so energy will be released. So opposite thing is expected here. So that's why high temperature needed to supply heat from outside. But if you look at this reaction here from one molecule, total 1 plus 4, total 5 molecules are produced. And delta S, if I say entropy, that is positive. And very high positive, 4 unit. So that's why high temperature, this part will make this delta G more negative. So that's why high temperature is essential. And by the way, high pressure also supports or makes this reaction more drastic such that under this drastic condition, such kind of hydrogen removal reaction takes place. Not only that. The final product, this is benzene. It is aromatic, stabilized because of Huckel rules. You remember the word aromaticity means stability because aromaticity is associated with huge amount of delocalization or resonance. Now let's go to this basic understanding regarding this here. Now if I want to make an aromatic compound from here, remember my target that it will be a six member ring because it is resonance stabilized because of aromaticity and Huckel rule. So, from where I start, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, I need to connect, student, very important concept. I need to connect this position 1 and this position 6 and it will result a benzene ring. So, if I name this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, carbon number 6, there will be this CH3. Okay. 
so tolerant now if you do the same thing one two three four five six so if you do the cyclization fine do the numbering one two three four five six so here carbon number two attached with methyl if you look at this case okay same thing one six so it is one two three four five six do this student do this practice this is and where the carbon methyl group this is carbon number three by the way if you look at this one this one or this one all are same they are toluene single substitution so actually this question number one two and three all will result in toluene under these reaction condition why selectivity or benzene or derivatives are produced because aromaticity this benzene is stable because it's resonance stabilized because means it's aromatic according to the Huckel rule by the way if you have any difficulty in Huckel rule please visit I have already uploaded a dedicated lecture so what will be the answer all of this so answer option C is the right answer by the way if you get this question in your exam hall how can you solve very quickly point number one you need to remember okay here also given six member ring aromaticity so how can you make this six member ring? you need to add one at six so one two three four five six so you have to add this who remains this methyl group now here one six relationship add methyl remaining here also so all will produce one ch3 attached benzene derivative that is toluene so these case all will produce the same by the way in such kind of problem i suggest do lot more of practice then you can very easily find out by the way if i give two methyl then it will be little complicated so that's why first try this easy later on we shall try a tough problem so this is the overall discussion i believe you have learned a lot if you really enjoy the, my content then please hit the like button and if you really consider the content of my channel worthy then please write your positive feedback in the comment box see you in my next video take care bye bye